You're watching the Nubia Red Magic 5G disassembly. First, let's go ahead and remove the SIM tray. Next, we're gonna heat the back plate up using a hair dryer or a heat gun to loosen up the adhesive underneath it, which is holding it down. And then we're gonna use a plastic pry tool to gently pry the back plate off. Now be careful when lifting the back plate since there's still a cable attached for the light up logos. There are 25 Phillips screws we need to remove. We're going to go ahead and remove those now. Now once all our screws are removed, we're going to lift up and remove the top cover. Now the top cover of the phone is both aluminum and plastic. The bottom half is aluminum where the air for the fan runs through. But the top half where the antenna lines are is plastic. Here's the plastic part, and here's the aluminum part. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove this graphite film. This transfers heat basically. Next, we're gonna disconnect the battery cables. And this is the first phone which I've worked on that the battery has two cables connecting to the main board. You have one over here and one right here. We're gonna have to disconnect both of them. Now that the battery is disconnected, we'll go ahead and disconnect this cable over here, which leads to the back plate with the light up logos. Just pop it off and then peel the cable off. So here's your back plate. You have your two white tapes over here, which illuminate the logos on the back of the phone. You have a flex cable over here, which has the LED lights. Solder onto them. You have this one, which lights up this right here. And then you have these LED lights over here, which illuminate this white tape over here. Now let's go ahead and disconnect the rest of the cables. Disconnect the headphone jack. Let's remove the headphone jack. Now we're going to peel off the protective tape over here for the front facing camera. Now we'll disconnect the cable. And then we'll remove the front facing camera. Here's a better look at your front facing camera. Now we have three wire cables we need to disconnect from this side of the board. Got one right here, Just pop it up. You have one over here. And you have one white one right here. We have one Phillips screw holding the main board down over here, which we need to remove. Now we're going to lift up the main board. The top part of the board over here is tucked into the frame, so you're going to have to slide it out a little bit. And be careful because you still have cables underneath which you need to disconnect. You have one wire cable on this corner underneath the board. Just pop it off.
You also have one cable right here. Let's go ahead and disconnect that. So here's your main board. You have copper tapes over the shields. And some of the copper tapes seem to have liquid in the center. And there is thermal paste over them too. Your cameras are connected over here. So if you want to disconnect them, just pop off the cables and remove them. You have a microphone located up here on top. Here's the back side of the board. You have copper tape on the back as well. And there's also some type of liquid from the looks of it in the center of this one, this one as well. And some here. So removing the main board reveals thermal paste on top of a copper heat plate, which is sitting on top of a copper heat pipe underneath it. Now the heat pipe runs underneath and through the mid frame. And you have your fan over here. Now we're going to remove the bottom plastic cover. We're going to disconnect the cable over here, which leads from the bottom board to the top main board. We're going to disconnect the fingerprint reader cable. There's one wire cable over here with disconnect as well. Pop it off. You have one Phillips screw holding down the bottom board. Remove that. Now we're going to lift up and remove the bottom board. Once that board is removed, the speaker assembly comes off. So here's the bottom board and you have your charger port right here. It's just a flex cable, so this part's replaceable as is. And this bottom board is where your SIM slot is. You also have a microphone on this corner over here. So here's a better look at your loudspeaker. Now aside from the antenna lines running through the speaker assembly, the bottom plastic cover, and the top plastic cover, you also have two antennas on either side of the phone over here. So here are your two antennas on the side, which I assume are the 5G antennas. They're each held down with a Phillips screw. You can go ahead and remove those screws and remove those antennas if you'd like. Now, as far as the battery goes, there's no easy pull tabs to use to pull the battery off. So you're just gonna have to heat it up a little bit and then you're gonna have to pry it off. Here's your battery. Removing the battery reveals your screen cable over here, which is run through a slit in the mid frame. So if you ever had to replace the screen, you'd have to disconnect the cable for your screen over here from the main board, and then you'd have to remove your battery. So you'd be able to peel off the screen cable from the mid frame over here, run it through the slit over here in the mid frame, and then you'd have to heat your screen up on the front and pry it off and then get your new screen run the cable through the slit over here in the mid frame, and then reapply it to the front, connect the cable back to the main board, and just reverse the process. Now, as far as your fingerprint reader down here goes, it is replaceable. It's just held on with some strong adhesive. You'd have to basically pry the fingerprint reader off to replace it with a new one. So this cable over here, it leads to the magnetic charger on the side of the phone. And there's also a microphone over here on the side of the phone. And then you have this cable right here which comes to the keys on the side of your phone for your power and your volume switch. Peeling off this rubber gasket right here. Reveals them underneath. You got your red gaming switch key over here. Here's the cable for it over here. The board sits on top of it. And you also have your two gaming keys over here on the side of the phone. The cable for this one's right here with the gold contacts. And this one runs all the way over here, right here. You have your vibrator motor over here, your earpiece speaker right here on top. And then you have your proximity cable right here, which is run through the mid frame to the front of the phone. The cable for your earpiece speaker is right here. It has the two gold contacts right here, which touch the board and give it signal. Fan cable is this black one right here with the four gold contacts right there. Now, as far as repairability goes on this phone, I'd have to say it's easier than the Red Magic 3, but still it is a pretty difficult phone to repair. However, pretty much all the parts are replaceable, which is a good thing. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone back together.
Go ahead and put your back plate over. Flip the phone around, power it on, and you're done. If you guys want to see more disassemblies like this, make sure you subscribe and click on the notification icon so you'll be notified the next time I upload a video. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.